History made in Minnesota. We are now the first state to screen all newborns for the most common congenital virus in the country. WCCO's Mary Elmo shows us about shows us the push to get to this point and how it's going to help families going forward. We celebrate today a remarkable collaboration. This historic screening program for congenital cytomegalovirus, better known as CMV, is all thanks to the efforts of parents who pushed for change. Pretty powerful moment today. Leah Hendrickson's daughter Vivian was diagnosed with CMV two days after birth. The virus caused her hearing loss, but because of early detection, Vivian's speech development was so much better than it could have been. The whole health system really helped to make sure that she didn't fall through the cracks and that she got the care that she needed and why she's doing so great, why she's doing so great today. Hendrickson and other moms in this room spent the last seven years pushing for legislation for CMV screenings. Last year, it passed and became known as the Vivian Act. I think it's going to be great so they don't have to get sick like me. A year later, the Minnesota Department of Health put this legislation into action. But now it's going to be statewide. Every hospital, every newborn will be tested for congenital CMV using that that dried blood spot card. This is the CMV screening card that doctors use to detect whether the virus is in the baby. It's a simple blood draw from the baby's heel within 24 to 48 hours after the baby's born. And from these dried blood spots, doctors are able to detect the virus even if it's not obvious at birth. Knowledge is power. You can't treat what you don't know. You can't prevent what you don't know exists. In Minneapolis, Mariel Mose, WCCO 4 News. CMV screening started on Monday and will be included with all genetic testing on newborns for no additional cost. Parents can always opt out of the screening.